Hello, welcome back. My name's Andrew or Andy, whichever you prefer. I'm whispering at the moment because it feels really quiet everywhere. It feels like a Sunday. It is Monday, the cafe's not open. That's probably why it's no traffic, no people. Very weird, surreal. Also, it's a little bit uh, hazy today as well. Nice temperature, good day to be doing this. And as you know, last week I was packing this out. This is the last job I was doing covering over the bricks. There was a slight dip in this wall, so I had to pack it out quite a lot. Now I'm gonna go over it again with some plastic trimming. And hopefully once I've done that, I can then go over it with one final coat and give it a good finish. A couple more areas we need to do up here before we start with the floor, but hopefully as the week goes on, we'll get this whole floor area completely sorted and then we can move on to other things. So I'm gonna mix up and get this underway. Right, got the trimming along the top there and I've decided while I have lots of plastic trimming because I've just been out again to get some more, I'm going to go on the other side of this roof. And Marks will try and do as much of that as I can so that that's that tricky little bit out of the way. So we can concentrate then on making sure we've got everything as flat as we can before we put that top coat on. So up onto the roof. trimmings on. Now I'm going to go to the top section first before I continue down this side. But it is incredibly stuffy. Really can see hot. Right, did pretty well there. We're at a stage where we can put some good final coats on. That's the daunting bit. Wow, these pesky flies, they're everywhere. This last week, they've just come out of wherever they come out from. And uh, of course it happens every year. Uh, it lasts about three weeks, but it just catches you out. Up on the roof in the village, both of us, James and I are suffering today around our face. They go in your ears, around your ankles. I have had a few suggestions and I will be trying them out. Anywho, 
I tested the pellet burner. All works great. Temperature's gone up a little bit, so hopefully I won't need to use it for a few weeks. Hope so, because I bought the bags on uh, Saturday and they were, what, $3.99 for a 15 kilogram bag last year. And now this year, they're $10.99. So everything's really shooting up in price. Now, we're all in the same boat, obviously, and all of us are going to suffer from that one. But it's still cheaper, fun enough, than buying the wood for the salamander. And of course, I would still take this over the salamander because it means I get a good night's sleep and I don't have to get up in the middle of the night to reload it because it's only a very small salamander and it goes out quite quickly. And once I finish with it in there, into the house, and I'll be using it in there, unless I can find an even cheaper way of heating everything up. Who knows? Anyway, roof was really hot today very stuffy hopefully we'll get a little breeze tomorrow and uh hopefully the cafe will be open as well because i'll be so dehydrated anyway we'll carry on in the morning so it really is a lot noisier today it's wednesday yesterday we went out and got a load of materials but we're back here on the job we were going to concentrate on just doing the flat section the flat roof area and then go back inside. But we decided now, better off just doing the whole lot. So we're gonna now concentrate on getting this entire house on the outside completely rendered. And my job for today is to go all the way along this area here and down there, give that its first coat and get it ready for the final finish because James can't put the flashing down there until that's done because it joins up to it. So it's five o'clock, flies everywhere. Been out on the roof since 10 this morning and it's been really hot, no breeze at all. And I think I burnt the back of my neck, which was a bit silly, but I really wanted to get as much of that done as possible today. We've got all the trimming around the whole roof now and I managed to go over it all with one coat off. I'm gonna show you this product I don't normally, but I want to this time around because I've had a lot of people asking me. It's called MH19 and it is a lime cement. Some people will be pleased to hear because over the months I've been told that uh, you can't just use cement on everything, but we haven't. We've been using that stuff and it's perfect because one, it's relatively cheap and you can pack everything out quite thick. And on these walls, there's very few that are flat. So because of the price of this product as well, we're using that to do as many coats as we need to. And also it's quite soft, so it will actually scrape off like chalk. But it's perfect for what we're doing here. And then once we've got it really flat, we can then use the more expensive stuff, which is a lot harder. And hopefully then go over it once and then we'll get a really good finish. So we're gonna try and do the whole house anyway, but 
now I've done the top and all the bits up there, it means now that I can actually give that the top coat on there and come back to this section, because I actually think this is probably gonna need another couple of coats. Anyway, as always, if those of you who watch my videos, you'll know, I do from time to time keep saying that I don't actually want my videos me trying to explain anything or what I'm doing. And uh, I'm certainly not trying to teach anyone anything. Um, just in this case here, I showed you that little product there, just because I get asked these questions quite a lot. I will show you the finishing product as well. But uh, anything that we do, by the way, just don't take it that I'm trying to teach anyone. I'm just documenting my week. I'm going home, I'm hot. One of the things that's been really important to me, and I really wasn't expecting to have to do that since I started my YouTube channel, but I guess these things are inevitable, really. You put yourself out there, and from time to time, I do have people wandering around the land who have found me and uh, try not to look inconspicuous. I have mentioned this on an earlier video, as well as mentioning that I have cameras dotted all the way around, and they are night vision as well. Uh, you can't see them, and I'm gonna not tell you where they are, obviously, but because of that, I was actually thinking I could do a compilation, put a load of, load of clips together and you could see everyone and how they're... I've been hiding behind trees and popping their head round and walking down here and kicking the soil, pretending that they're just going for a wander and then doing the side glances. It all shows up on the camera. And most of the time I'm standing here when that happens as well. I've had people show up at the front gate. Luckily, everyone's been harmless and I hope that remains that way. But... Because of that, I've had to rethink a few things. And earlier on this year, I got a camera that I put on the front of the house and it's got a 150 angle on it. So I can pretty much see everything from the front door all the way up the driveway. And I'll show you that in a minute because I can video about and actually show it on my phone. Um, but recently I decided what I'm going to do is get another one because I knew that with the Rio link that they have a, uh, a newer model that's just come out in August. So I've got one of those for this here. And at the moment, I've just put it up there for the purposes of showing you on this video because I will be moving that. And uh, if I wave up to the camera now, you'll see that um, it's live and a really good picture quality on there. It's better than the one I have at the front. So having that is brilliant. The thing that's also really nice is it's got really good night vision and it has a sensor on it, but also it has a microphone. So if I could be anywhere and I can just turn my phone on and if I sense anything or I see the dogs running around or they're misbehaving, for instance, I can just talk into it and it comes out a little speaker on the bottom, which is pretty damn cool. So I got those ones because I knew that here, obviously, I want to make sure I'm well protected, although I'm here quite a lot of the time. You just never know, nosy people. I'm sure no one's doing any harm, but at the same time, you can never be too sure. And hopefully it might just slow people down a little bit. But with regard to this Rio link, um, first and foremost, the picture quality on it is really high resolution. The nighttime vision is really good as well. And because of the sensor lights that come on, it just gives me an extra bit of illumination. You can also, because I have a, um, a little hard drive that comes with it and uh, I can just constantly record and record and record, but I can also record and have it on my phone or my iPad, which is really good. And of course I can watch it live from anywhere. And that's worked out really well for me because it just gives me an added sense of security. And also as well with the dogs, especially with that little one, wherever he is, than the where he is now, Eddie. Uh, I wanna make sure that when I'm not around that uh, the other two aren't up to mischief with him. And so far they've been pretty good. But then again, he follows me everywhere anyway. So that's the Rio link. And what I'm gonna do now is in the uh, description here, I'm gonna put the link to Rio link and it's gonna have a discount in there as well. So you can load that in. But I do recommend if you're looking for cameras to do it because they're relatively cheap. I was surprised to, to find out. They've really come down in price uh, cameras. I haven't had too many over the years, but some of the earlier ones were really expensive and they're not half as good a quality as this. Um, but anyway, that's in the link in the description. And if you're interested, take a look. Uh, I recommend them because I think they're really good. Right, I've got flies again all the way around me. So I'm gonna walk the dogs and then get some spray on me to stop it. Good morning. Right, we're on to Thursday. And I thought before I carry on, with the rendering, the tedious job of rendering up there on the roof. I will just do a little walk around of this house because I still have a few people from time to time still don't understand the layout of this house and it is really straightforward. So if I start at the door and just point at the rooms, I'm hoping this will make complete sense to those who haven't quite got it. So I'm standing in the doorway right now. 
in the corridor and this will remain the corridor to the right there is going to be a bedroom we'll call that bedroom number two and then on this side in this area it will be walled off and that is going to be our bathroom steps go up into the mezzanine which is going to be bedroom number one which is going to be above the kitchen and you'll be able to look down into the lounge so going through into here steps down this is going to be the kitchen that is going to be bedroom number one and this whole area here is going to be the living area so really straightforward and of course I understand as there isn't a floor there just yet how that can confuse people but there will be very soon obviously after we've done all the rendering now and then coming outside down here go into the garage and above the garage up there is where we put that temporary roof on and we are planning on fitting that once we've done the rendering and getting the old traditional tiles on. I hope that gives a little bit of clarity to the layout of this house. It's very straightforward, but we're hoping it's going to be quirky and have a lot of character. But first things first, back on the roof, and I'm going to see if on the area I was covering yesterday, I can get a final top coat on there. And as I mentioned, because we went out and bought a load of bags, this is the product now that we're going to be using for the top coat. It's really fine and hopefully, we've been told, is going to be very strong and give us a good finish. We were originally using the same manufacturer as the MH19, but they'd run out of that. And then we discovered this one here is slightly cheaper, but actually stronger as well. So that's what I'm going to be using on the top there. And James is going to be doing whatever he's doing on the roof. That was a stinker of a day. My hands are killing me. So it's just gone six o'clock now and I was determined to get this whole top section done because I don't want to come back to it tomorrow. But overall, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I really couldn't have done any better if I tried.
So we're now on to Friday and um, yesterday I was up on the, on the, not the flat bit, I was up on the roof. Of course, now I made a bit of a mess on our new roof. So I'm going to have to spend a bit of time clearing it all up. But I'm not going to do that today because my hands are killing me. Boy, doing small areas is one thing, but now we've got to do the entire house. It's really daunting. But James here has just told me that he's really enjoying it. <laughs> oh, we're both really struggling with this. So we are now going to continue to do a bit more. And the shame of it is it doesn't matter what I video here. You really can't see those layers that we're putting on to get it flatter and flatter. So I won't video any more of what I'm going to do up here because yeah, otherwise it just looks like I'm repeating myself on everything that we do here. But I'm going to concentrate along here today. Anyway, see how we get on. Boy, am I glad it's Friday. My arms, my forearms are killing me. Ooh, taken all day just to do this section here because it was so warped as I've already mentioned. But now getting it to this stage, it may not look very pretty at this point. Don't judge it until it's finished. This was just all about getting it flat. On Monday, I'll come back and give it a good scrape, get rid of any high points, and then it's ready to have a finish coat on there and it's going to look really good and it will look as good as the job that James has done all the way around here and he's done a fantastic job here it's such a contrast from what it was last week especially on the roof I'm really happy with that of course I've got to go back and clean the roof that I'll do next week now and then that will look really cool and by the time this is all done up here and the floor's down which James will do next week I think uh, it's just going to look like a new house I'm really pleased with this and I'm not the most patient person in the world. I've learned how to become more patient over the last seven years because of what I'm doing. Sometimes you need to step away from things and then come back to it another day. And with something like this, that requires a lot of patience. It's had now maybe seven or eight coats on top of this. And that, of course, is something that it's very easy just to say, that's good enough, leave it at that. But we want it to look as good as if a professional's done it. And we won't stop until that's done. So where my impatience comes in, I guess I make up for it for the fact that I'll never give up until it's absolutely spot on. So I'm really looking forward to doing this and I'm really looking forward to this looking marvellous. So last night I was watching um, James and Christina's video, the Kinta, and she pointed out this, what is it? It's a spray. It's like a body moisturiser or something from Avon. And I completely forgot I bought one of these last year from the lady in the village and uh, really does smell of like 70s talcum powder. It's not the best smell in the world. But I put it on earlier on today, this morning, uh, all over me, all my areas where the flies will get me. And I haven't had any flies the entire day. This isn't actually the purpose of this spray. It's a moisturiser, but <laughs> a dry moisturiser. But the fact that it works perfectly with flies is just brilliant, but strange. Anyway be using that for the next couple of weeks while the flies are around. Now I mentioned that I was going to come back on Monday and you'll see the rest of that but I've decided now because although I did also say I was going to be doing one video every 10 days or so, three a month, I, I struggled to do, it, do that over the weekend not doing anything and waiting for the next few days afterwards so I've decided I'll just revert back and just do every Saturday for the foreseeable future and I think once I've finished the house in the village and I start here, I might then go to the 10 days per video. But right now, I'm going to end it. So thank you all so much for watching. And next week, of course, well, we've decided, as you already know, that we're going to be doing uh, the whole house on the outside rendering before we tackle anything else. And at this point, we reckon it's probably going to take somewhere in the region of three weeks to get it to a finish that we're really happy with. Um, really not looking forward to that because although we're getting better at it and we're getting a really good finish, it's still very time consuming and tedious. And when we get onto the larger walls, that's going to be really interesting. Anyway, we'll carry on next week and uh, I'll try and because there are a number of other things that I want to be doing around here as well. I'll be mixing up the videos a little bit so it's not just me rendering and hopefully you can join me on the next video. So until then, look after yourself, stay happy, stay positive and I'll see you then. Bye bye. You sure you don't want to go for a walk? Are you sure?
Should we go for a walk? Come on in. Walkies. Good boys. 